Hi, this is Michael Dillon, and today I'll be doing an unboxing and review for this car mount phone holder. Um, on the side of the box there's a picture. Over here you can see a bunch of a uh, bunch of different features that it has. And uh, let's open it. <clears throat> Everything comes separately wrapped in its little bag. <clears throat> here are the instructions. Um, I don't think anything too complicating. Um, so what we have here is four different pieces. Uh, this looks like it is the actual phone holder. If you press this button, you see it expands like that. And that's really good because that means it's going to be um, one touch, like you could do things one handed. So for example, you can close it up like this. And then if I want to open it, I just hit this button like this. And it just expands. I can take my phone out. If I want to put my phone back in, I put it back in and I'm able to close it which is very nice. Um, big fan of that. Um, the middle has a little hole for charging. So if you're charging ports in the middle, that's perfect. Um, headphone jack on top. So that's not a problem. <clears throat> Let's look at the other parts. This is a vent clip. So this will clip onto the vent and I'll show you how that works uh, when I get into my car. Um, this is actual arm that they, uh, well, this will be the arm, I guess the vent clip for, for the vent, but this will be the arm. If you want to put it on your windshield, it will go like this. And there's a way to unlock it like this. You can have it facing whichever way you like. It goes all the way around and then you can lock it in place like this and it will stay in that position. So for example, if you're putting it on your window like this, it could work out very well. Um, and then this down here, will let you adjust it pretty far out. So if you want it to be very close to you, you can put it on your dashboard and it's already, this is how wide it's going to be, which is pretty, it's pretty wide, um, pretty long. I mean, so it could be pretty close to you if you want it to be pretty close to you, depending on how big your car is. Um, how does this go into the actual phone holder? Well, I'm glad you asked because I'm about to show you. So first you want to unscrew this, make that loose. Once you do that, you better click it in and just tighten it up. Okay. And now you have your phone holder. Now if you want to put the, um, the vent, the vent clip in, this is what you would do. You would take this out. You would put this vent clip in. Click that in and tighten it up. Righty tighty lefty loosey, and there you go. Oops, this way. Vent clip. And you can close it up. Now what this is for is, <clears throat> if you want to install it on your dash, most people with dashboards are actually not, um, are not able to just have a section go onto it, which is super annoying. So what this does is you can put it onto your dashboard and you can have it uh, stick on that way. And, um, and that's if you want to put it on your dashboard. And that's actually probably the most common place to put it. That way it's out of your way. But um, that's how you can do it. So uh, the way you would put a section onto your window is you would have, see there's a clip right here. You push it down and it will get tight and this will loosen it. So I'm going to go into my car and show you. So for the vent, you're going to want to, there's a little thing over here that you could turn and it will tighten it or loosen it. And then you put it onto your vent and tighten it according to your vent. Okay, so I tightened this little knob down and now it's tightened onto the vent. Um, I would just clip it onto one of the vent um, vent plastic pieces. And once you do that, you could actually put your phone in. Okay, so one-handed operation, open it up. One-handed operation, and just close it right up. And there you go, vent clip worked perfectly. Um, maybe I'll close this a little and close it like that. There we go. Um, and it's like a little bit um, angled, so that way it holds the phone in, which is pretty nice. And as you can see, it's actually pretty sturdy. So uh, the only thing I would mention is that if you're putting it on a vent and the heat's on, it might heat up your phone, or if the AC's on, it might make your phone very cold. So if you have one of these on it, I would just close it. Um, unless it's very hot outside, then you could turn on the AC and have it cool down your phone. Okay, so now I could take it off of the vent Ooh, and take a look at other places. Okay, I took off this plastic adhesive. And we can now stick it on to the window. We have to lock, latch that latch in the back. And there we go. It's 
Oops. It actually is sticky. Um, I dropped it. I didn't push it in hard enough the first time. But once you do stick it in, it should be pretty. Um, it should stay pretty tight. And now that you have the mount mounted, you can just stick on the foam mount. There we go. And tighten it up. It's the wrong way. There we go. And here we are. The foam mount is now correctly uh, put on to the car windshield. So that's how the car windshield one would work. And just make sure to push it down so it doesn't happen what happened to me. And the actual um, the actual sticky, well, it's actually sticky. It's called micro suction. And once you take it off like this, then you can pull the suction off. And last but not at least is this. So what you would do is you take this off, you put it onto your dashboard. Once it's on your dashboard, you can put on your mount like this. And what will happen is, is that um, this will be on. Now, you might be wondering, it's upside down. Well, as you can see, I literally just flipped it over because it's on a wheel over there. So you just gotta tape this down. Um, and you can see, I have another mount here that I've done the same thing to, which is a very similar mount to this one. Um, this one seems like a great mount and definitely will be a good addition to uh, my wife's car. Um, so thank you for watching. Um, I think this is an excellent mount and definitely gives it a five-star review.